today I actually have the freedom to talk to you about several things. So aside from talking about things that I want to show you that I came across, like I haven't done this in forever and I just found a bunch of stuff that I thought would be awesome to show you guys. But I also want to talk about a book I read. I don't know if you're interested. If you're not, then you could just skip that. I guess I'll put that at the end. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll jump right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is Five Below. So that's a store where everything is literally five dollars and under. Five Below. So the cool thing is that they have athletic stuff like equipment, kettlebells, even though they're like one to five pounds, but they also have like athletic wear. So I got these really awesome shorts that I keep finding on all those like websites, kind of like Beyond the Rack. They don't have those on um, here, but all those cool websites, they have them like for $10 or $12. And I'm always just like, I don't know if like, I want to spend that plus shipping on a pair of shorts when I could just go to Target or something. But they had these at the store for $5 and I have loved them. I had to have them. So they're by the company Sof or something. They're so cute and they have like the pink with the zebra and they're just, I don't know, they're not like booty shorts, but they do kind of come up short, but they're awesome for like doing squats at home or kettlebell exercises, or if you want to put something underneath them like skins or anything like that, or even just, I mean, they're elastic bands, so you can go out and like do a jog or something. I just like to wear uh, stuff that's maybe a little tighter for a jog so nothing falls down, but these are awesome for agility workouts or anything like that outside or at home or at the gym, lifting weights, whatever. And they're really comfortable. You can even, I mean, I also wear them to bed, like they're comfortable. And they, oh, they also have leggings, which, damn, mine are in the wash, but they're like pink. Oh, hey. Sorry. Um, the next thing I actually just picked up my phone, I remembered, I got this at Spencer's. It's the Ouija board kind of phone case. And I have a 5S and it, obviously they came in a 5S. It was like one, the only one in the store. Um, you can probably go on their site and get it. I just love it. It's so cute. And I don't know. It's not brown, it's like a cream color, and it's, I don't know, I just love it. So it was like, I think it was like, I want to say like $9.99 or something like that. So it wasn't expensive. 10 bucks for a really cute phone case, I don't know. I thought it was worth it. That went to Payless the other day, and I have a pair like this in black. They're called uh, Dex Flex Comfort. I got them in Claire. So I got them in polka dot, size 10, because I just call me Bigfoot. Um, but I thought they were really cute. They're kind of like work shoes mixed with like 1940s or 50s kind of style. How cute are those, right? They have like a little blue in their um, tip, and they're like blue polka dot with like cream, and they're like bendy, so they bend with your foot. I have a pair like this in black, and they're my favorite flat ever. Never had a problem. And I'm flat footed, so I put an insert in, but I don't know. They're really cute with the gold inside. I love them. And I think these were $20, $19.99? Yes, $19.99. And I think it's well worth it. I mean, I, it, for a flat that I've had, I've had the black ones for like two years or more, and they're perfect. They're still awesome. So that was that one. Um, also, there's a thing that I've been using for about a year or two now. I use a different brand usually. I can't think of it, but this one is available in stores. And usually they sell it at Ulta, but I get it at TJ Maxx for half price for $12.99, and it is Hemp's Original Lotion. And what I love about this is that, Hemp's with a Z, is that it is so amazing for sensitive skin. Now, if you are, are allergic to hemp or, like, some people can't have hemp protein because it hurts their stomach, I don't know about um, something like a lotion, but I would stay away from it if you are allergic or just test it out a small patch. But for those of you who can and you have sensitive skin like me, like, I, I will shave and get a rash, like, later on that day if I do not use this. They have a bunch of different versions and scents and different things. They have, like, an age one, original, triple moisture, all that stuff. So, I just like the original because it smells really good. It smells sweet, kind of like candy, and I like that. But the scent does wear away, so don't worry about, like, summer with bugs. I use it all over, and it keeps rashes away in the summer or, like, after shaving or whatever it is, and it's just kick ass. So I definitely would recommend getting your hands on some of this. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, so I also went to TJ Maxx the other day and I have been eyeing like booties with a buckle with a heel, black kind of stuff, but I never like was able to find the ones that I wanted. They always either had a zipper on the side, too short, too tall, not the right style. 
but TJ is known to have awesome sales for really good brands. One day I will walk in there and go to the shoe section and be like, oh my god, they have X, Y, and Z. Like, you just don't know. But I went there the other day, tongue tied, because my sister wanted to get the Hemp's lotion. She got one. And I was like, oh, let me check out the shoe section. So I went and I got to the shoe section. And the only pair in one size, which was mine, they had was the Guess um, version, like Guess brand version of the shoes I was talking about, which kind of look like this. Okay, so this is like granny boot meets motorcycle boot meets winter boot meets just combat boot like weather awesomeness like it's just an awesome boot and I love it it's like sturdy it's my size size 10 you could fit a bunch of socks under here for the winter like one or two pairs if it's really cold thick socks even um there's room and give and also it's just like I don't know it has the side zipper so you can like zip it up it has the front closure it has the buckle that you can undo to tie and they're really comfortable it's not a really high heel so you can walk in them I mean I don't know if they're gonna have those at your TJ but they always have awesome deals and kick-ass deals that you can find so definitely check that out oh those were okay that's what I forgot to tell you it says compare at $64 that's how much guest sells them for I guess they sold them for $39.99 mind blown anyway Moving on. Um, the next thing I want to show you, my sister got for me actually. I still have him in the bag because I don't want to get ruined. But she found a whole bunch of, um, I don't know if any of you Game of Thrones fans out there are like us, uh, follow, but they have all the stuffed animal wolves you can buy. And she was about to go cray and like buy the whole selection. Because um, like if you bought all of them, you got like money off. And I was like, whoa, you don't need all those. But she got me and her, um, she got us like sister kind of sister wolves like we got you know one and one not that we both got girls but like one and one like we got you know matching like oh. you know what I'm talking about but we both got wolves and she got me ghost and I love him so much how cute is that so he has his red eyes his furry little skin it says ghost cub it's just the cutest thing in the entire world and I love him and it's a little baby version it says Game of Thrones HBO on his tag so it's legit I love him and I'm just afraid to like leave him out of his plastic bag because he's white and I don't want to get him ruined because he's the cutest thing in the entire world. So, if you go online and you just type in like Game of Thrones Cubs, you'll find all these websites that have like sales or go on to HBO, um, the website, and check out if they have any more. I love him. So thank you to my sister for getting me Ghost. I love him and I treasure him and he just watches over me. It's just the cutest thing in the entire world and I love him. And it's a little baby version. It says Game of Thrones HBO on his tag so it's legit. I love him. And I'm just afraid to like leave him out of his plastic bag because he's white and I don't want to get him ruined because he's the cutest thing in the entire world. So, if you go online you just type in like Game of Thrones Cubs, you'll find all these websites that have like sales or go on to HBO. Um, the website and check out if they have any more. I love him. So thank you to my sister for getting me Ghost. I love him and I treasure him and he just watches over me while I sleep at night. Um, and then the last thing. This actually isn't mine. My grandfather is an artist. Um, I can leave his website down below. He's an amazing artist and he always inspires me. Um, when I went to art school he helped me put stuff together as did my aunt who's also an artist. And he had this amazing book that he lent me for a week, and I just died on the inside. Um, it's a German Expressionism woodcut book, and it's so awesome. Like, you look inside, there's a bunch of, like, well-known artists, and then there's some that aren't too well-known. But if you just look at the quality and the technique these guys used, I mean, I don't know, if, you, if you're interested in art, keep watching, otherwise you could skip forward, but I'll just show you, like, one or two of my favorites. Um, I should have bookmarked them. It's by um, Eric uh, Heckel. It's called Siblings 1913. This is one of my, this is this one right here, one of my favorites. Look at how they carved. So in order to make a wood print, everything that's black was rolled on the wood with the ink, right? So you carve out what you want the white to be. So you're basically working around carving it within the space to create what the print would be so everything on here they carved out and this they kind of left. Does that make sense? So just look at how amazing that is. And everyone has their own style but they kind of look like Frankenstein, like eerie, creepy. I just love it. It's beautiful and the way that they're hugging, you know, like siblings. I don't know, I just, I love it. You know, it's just like love 
of Between Family. I just love it. And this book is edited by this guy named Shane Weller. Um, you can de definitely check online for this, the German Expressionist Woodcuts book. Stuff, woodcuts, I feel like people don't really know much about, but this book is amazing. It has a bunch of different artists with different styles, and it's definitely worth it to get your hands on it if you're interested. So now, on to the section where I talk about a book I just read. Um, I know this is like a weird mashup of stuff, but I just haven't been on here because I've been working like crazy. Um, but the book I read was called The Easter Parade, and it was by um, Richard Yates. He's one of my favorite authors. He wrote Revolutionary Road, so he kind of writes historical fiction, so he like gives you a glimpse into people's lives um, in a certain era to kind of give you an idea of what things might have been or to give, whoop, give you an idea of what humanity is within time never change. You just have to read him to kind of understand. You're kind of getting a glimpse into humanity and like what people thought in different eras and how it carries through to now because these are timeless pieces. I can read this now and relate to certain ideas and notions because I too am human. So although like Revolutionary Road was written uh, about a certain time frame, I can still kind of understand the issues at hand and like the emotions people felt because of their circumstances because we're all human. So this book, The Easter Parade, um, I just want to talk about a little bit because at first, I finished it in a day. I probably should have taken more time with it because his books are very dense in a sense where you need to kind of drink it all in. But the way he went about it made me eager to keep reading and reading and figure out what's happening. And basically it's the story of two girls, sisters, who live different lives and he's talking almost through the eyes of one sister about the world. And she and her sister live completely different lives and they don't have an amazing relationship but there are circumstances where they need to be together and there are needs and desires and wants and it's just so very full of humanity. This isn't like a review or review, it's just something that I, I read it recently like within the last two weeks and I just was so Oh, like hyped about it because I couldn't I couldn't quite grasp it like When I finished it after the day I was like why did I read all of that and I understood like what I was reading But I didn't it just kind of ended with one of the sisters not really Knowing what life is and I realized that is the whole point the whole point of the novel was not to Have a theme or a plot it was to let you in on a window and a history of this these women and their relationships and then show you that this is theirs this is their relation of their lives but carrying through this is what humanity is this is what happens you know this happens I got a job here she does this my dad this he is does that like there's different relationships different meetings communication issues but that's everything we all do and have and go through like that's just life like maybe you and your sister have a fight I mean it's just the whole concept was just so beautiful. The fact that even though there was a bad relationship between the sisters, they still lived life. So at the end, when one of the sisters just admits, I just don't understand life, like, that is the whole point. The whole point is that there are going to be circumstances and there are going to be problems. There are going to be things you regret, things you don't regret. But that's the whole course of your life. And the whole point, I believe, I mean, I'm probably going to have to reread it, but I believe is that no matter what window of time you're in, you still don't know much and you're always going to keep learning. No matter what the relationships are, what you learn from a certain relationship that carried on with you throughout a certain, um, you know, extent of your life. And I just, it was just such a beautiful way of explaining that life goes on and you'll always keep learning and things don't come to you until later and you might not realize things but you have to learn from everything. And I know this is kind of a vague explanation because I'm not going to detail about the book, but that's because I want to give you a glimpse of ideas and concepts and themes that I recognized at towards the end that carry through and I kind of want to let you have the opportunity to read without me telling you details. So I don't know, I just thought it was worth sharing because I thought it was very, very beautifully written, very philosophical, very down to earth and very human and something that definitely withstands like time. I mean, we'll always be reading these things. Even 50 years from now, someone can read that and be like, oh yeah, well life is an experience. And that's just what it is, you know? There's not really much to understand except what you feel you're experiencing. Does that make, I mean, I hope that makes sense, but uh, my brain is just, I don't know, it's just such a, uh, 
I can't. I'm like a loss for words because it's just such an amazing novel and I feel like you all should read it. So if you're interested with my whole like blabber about what it is like and what um, kind of the concepts are about humanity, um, then definitely give it a read. Again, it's The Easter Parade by Richard Yates. Still, the concepts and themes are, you can kind of just feel them, you know, resonating with your humanity inside. So again, Easter Parade, Richard Yates. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you today. So I just showed you a bunch of stuff that I thought was pretty cool, stuff I've been using. Um, the German Expressionist woodcut book I definitely recommend you get your hands on. Um, I definitely wanted this uh, video to be a little different than usual. Just more stuff, more interesting stuff, more talking, more getting deep about life um, with you guys. So all that being said, thanks again for stopping by and watching my video. Even though I haven't been here in a while because I was crazy, crazy busy with work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!